Hi friends, it's Allison Okamitsu here from nicepeoplestamp.com. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel today. I'm excited to have a fun card making tutorial for you using the Tropical Oasis bundle. So it's a stamp set and die bundle. And we are gonna jump into a super cute card with a fun technique to add some texture to your die cut images. So this is the gorgeous bundle we're using today called Timeless Tropical. It's got so many great images and coordinating dies. And of course, this amazing pineapple die. And we're going to use that on today's card. So let's go over the paper pieces for our card. We have a thick Whisper White cardstock card base. So this piece is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. I then have a piece of a pretty peacock cardstock, and this piece is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. Our gorgeous crumb cake, I use this color a ton. It is three and three quarters by five. We have a little smidge of whisper white here, and this is two and a half by three quarters. And just the idiot bittiest little bit of our designer paper. And this is three and a quarter by a quarter. And then I just have some scraps of my Daffodil Delight cardstock and old olive cardstock. So I've brought in my die cutting machine because we're going to start with some embossing with our brand new amazing embossing folder. So we're just going to put our piece of crumb cake cardstock right inside, close it up. Put our plate on top and roll it through. And look how gorgeous this is. I love this embossing folder. It is going to get an absolute ton of use in my craft room. All right, so let's do some die cutting. I have my Old Olive and Daffodil Delight cardstocks. And we have our amazing dies. That's what we're gonna use. And we'll just roll that on through. With these detailed dies, I like to go back and forth just to be sure that they cut out well. So there's our gorgeous pineapple dies. And aren't those so amazing? But I wanna add some extra texture here. So I'm going to bring in a piece of my grid paper. And let's do some stamping. So I'm going to use this leaf stamp and we're gonna use this to add some extra texture to the pineapple. So I have the leaf stamp out and I'm going to first stamp onto my Daffodil Delight piece, the pineapple, and I'm going to stamp with my Crush Curry ink. This is going to add some texture and deepness to our pineapple. So I'm just gonna take this and stamp it all over. And I'm not worried about, you know, overlapping or anything like that. And that, isn't that great? It just adds something totally extra to the pineapple. So make sure you clean off your stamp. I just have my Simply Chamois here. Clean that off. And then I'm going to bring my garden, or sorry, Granny Apple Green ink pad. And we'll ink this up and we're just going to put the leaf image on here as well. So again, some added texture, some added vibrancy into the leaves. There we go. Isn't that awesome? So we also want to stamp our sentiment. I have my Tuxedo Black Memento ink pad and we're just going to stamp, rest and relax, you deserve it. So we'll just stamp that onto our piece of Whisper White. And now we're ready to assemble our card. I'm also going to bring in some of that gorgeous braided burlap. And I forgot to mention these awesome new embellishments that are in that suite. And look at how fun these little embellishments are. So I'm just going to put a few into my lid here and bring them up to the camera. They're so stinking cute. Aren't they amazing? I love them. We're going to use the leaf today. So let's assemble our card. I have all my pieces ready. I'm going to put my crumb cake piece that I embossed onto my pretty peacock. So let's grab our snail adhesive. And we'll just stick those down together. We 
We can now put this onto our Whisper White card base. So I want to put some dimensionals on the back side here to give that a raised look. There we go. Okay, so we'll put that down right onto our card front. And now we can start building our focal piece and this is where things really start to come together. So let's first sort of add some dimension to the pineapple leaves here. So this die has these sort of cut out portions so we can fluff up those pineapple leaves. I just love this die. Oh, okay. So let's put some dimensionals on the back here, but we're going to use the minis and I actually cut some in half. So I just want to add these into the more solid portions of my die cut piece. And I mean, you don't have to go crazy, but you want to make sure that it's going to stick down well enough that, you know, it's not going to release from your card front. There we go. And we'll stick that down onto our card front and then we can go in and add some to our top of our pineapple and I'm just using the whole of the mini dimensional I'm not cutting these ones there we go remove those backings and then we can put that right onto the top our pineapple and I mean seriously isn't that amazing already and now we have the embellishing part so I have my sentiment and I want to take a little bit of my multi-purpose liquid glue and just put this along the bottom edge and put on my little smidge of designer paper this just adds a real punch to the card and it really ties in well with that background. So I just really love that. Let's make sure it's straight. Okay. We can now cut a piece of our braided burlap. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do about the same width as my crumb cake cardstock. okay? And I want to fluff up and separate these end bits. So just like that. And now what I'm going to do is put some of my multi-purpose liquid glue along the back side here because I want it to sort of soak into that burlap and attach these two pieces together. So just like that. Okay. So of course we want our amazing little trinket on here. So I'll just put a glue dot on the back there and put that down. Okay, love it, oh my gosh. And now what I wanna do is I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back side here. So I'm just going to use my minis again and I'll put a couple on the top There we go. And then maybe a couple of the ones that I cut in half along the bottom, just because we have a smaller area down there. There we go. So we'll remove those backings. And there we have our absolutely stunning pineapple card using the Timeless Tropical Bundle and the Tropical Oasis Suite. 
Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's card and the technique in the video today. If you love the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and make sure you're a subscriber and click the little bell so you never miss a crafty video. You'll get a little reminder when I have a new video for you. All of the supplies I've used to create today's project can be purchased in my online store at shopnicepeoplestamp.com. And I'm so thankful when you are supportive of my business and do purchase from me because it means I can bring you more crafty video tutorials and blog posts and stuff like that. Thanks.